भाई सब लोग को संभालना चाहिए कमाना आसान है बोलते हैं इतना आसान नहीं है मगर सब रुक, रुका के रखना पानी को I love attracting money. Yeah. <laughs> And I think all of us should aspire for more. Money is power. In a way, being in a family business, my father's had a lot of control over my life. Especially if I want to join the business, and I have for the last twelve years, he's been my boss. The experience of freedom I had was actually after my MBA. I went to work for Bain and Company in New York. And that was actually a very liberating thing. But that feeling of okay, now I make my decisions is huge. Me having that job at Bain, I felt I could argue my case that much better. And so my advice to all the young women or even older women listening in is: if you have your financial independence, then you finally don't have to ask for permission to your father, your brother, your husband. And that's a great feeling. I live way below my means, way below. No, I don't no, spend just... money on anything. <laughs> I mean, my family teaches me that why are you working and earning money? You don't spend it on anything. <laughs> and this suit is probably, I would say, five and a half years old, and it's working fine, yeah, so yeah. I'm happy. You have to take care. Someone has to be there to look after the money. Why? सब लोगों को संभालना चाहिए कमाना आसान है बोलते हैं इतना आसान नहीं है मगर सब रुका के रखना पानी को डैम बना देने का भी जितना छोड़ने का छोड़ो You have to have a dam. You leave when it is flooded. Quantum of money that you start investing is not as important as the duration for which you invest your money. The longer that you invest, the bigger you are going to see the impact of compounding unfold. And that means that if you start investing when you are in your early twenties, then by the time you are in your forties, you will actually be sitting on such a big corpus that you can perhaps even consider never working ever and still have enough money to pay for the rest of your life. There are words that we use in the sector that just alienates everybody. Exactly. And so many women turn around and say, "Yeah, I just don't know what's going on, so I just leave it in a fixed deposit." So I always tell women, "It's okay if that's a fixed deposit, but if you feel confident that okay, this I understand how this works and where this money comes from, then put your money in that, and then slowly build on what makes you comfortable after that." Let's say you start earning, whatever, whether it's freelance income or whether it's a regular income through a job. and you have a bank account where all that money hits you start another bank account and it's very easy to start bank accounts now and that becomes your investing bank account and that is where your entire corpus gets built that's where you invest from that's where you sell and get the money back if you need it and when when you need it you bring it back to your original account but what you essentially do is you set yourself into that habit that the day i get any money at least 20% of that is just gone gone towards a future that i am building for myself When you met Mr. Murthy, he was broke. The richest man today, <laughs> one of the richest men, was completely broke, and he used to be yeah. borrowing money from you. So I said, no, I don't believe in borrowing and giving both. So I'll keep an account. You have to give me ten rupees, twenty rupees, twenty-five rupees. So I maintain an account. How much you have to give me? And he said, okay, write it in your notebook. He will tell. But give me twenty-five rupees. Okay? <laughs> There are a lot of women in our country who don't know how much their husbands are worth. Who don't know how much the house that they're living in is worth. Who don't know whose name that house is on, what their children stand to inherit in larger families in case something were to happen. This is all information that you have a right to. And we grow up in families that say we should not talk about money. Yeah. We should not ask these questions. It's not polite. While these are uncomfortable questions to ask, it's far worse to live without having any of this information. You have to start as early as you can. But that doesn't mean that if you're late, the game's over. Number one, if you're in your 30s or in your 40s, then hopefully the income that you are earning at that point of time can warrant for a bigger amount of investing happening every month. And two, your goals are also then very, very clear. You know that you're working towards, say, your retirement, towards pay perhaps your kids' education, perhaps a, a big purchase, say, a house or something. As the as the famous Chinese proverb which says, the best time to plant a tree. was 20 years back and the next best time is today and that's the exact same thing the best time to start investing was when you turned 20 but the next best time is today <laughs> <laughs>